Hey Taurus, so today we're going to go ahead and look at your new love reading. This is for those of you who are single, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to take a look and see who is this new person that's coming into your life. Who is your next love, next encounter. So we're going to get some details on how you'll know who this person is, who they are, what this connection will be like between the two of you and any other details that need to come up here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Five of Wands. <clears throat> King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Okay, the Chariot and the King of Cups. We have a counterpart here. So this could be water energy. You or your person here could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, potentially. We also have fire, um, but and also air. So air, especially water and air. Okay, so I'm getting a message here. This is for somebody who, I'm seeing somebody composing a text message or writing something on a paper. Um, could also be long distance for some, Three of Wands, the Chariot, or there could be some travel. But I'm getting that somebody could be trying to compose a message of some kind. It could be a text, it could be a letter, it could be something written. Um, and it seems like this is somebody who feels like they would really, it's, it's kind of like you're a far, you're kind of a far reached for this person. So again, I don't know if they are just considering how to kind of approach you. We'll see what else comes up here. It could be a brand new connection for some of you. It could be a new person or it could be somebody who is just figuring out kind of how to compose some type of message or um, yeah, some type of um, effort to come your, into your direction here and with this three of wands. So I feel like this is this is definitely what I'm seeing here as a situation. I feel like uh, it could even be yeah, vacation. Somebody could be considering going on a vacation or if you do live long distance from somebody, they could be um, trying to prepare for some type of trip, uh, maybe messaging you when they're in your area, or this could be vice versa, but that could be specific for somebody. This person here, I'm getting a vision. This person could have darker skin. Okay, these won't be for everybody, these details, but I'm getting a vision of somebody with um, dark skin. Okay, a male. Yeah, this is, I definitely feel like this is someone who's been playing it safe, okay? So, four of pentacles, two of pentacles, this person could have maybe a lot going on. They could even be somebody, too, who has reached some type of security in their life, and they feel a little bit afraid to let go of what they've known to explore this or to venture into your direction or to travel towards you or even to, you know, approach you in some way. With Ace of Cups coming up, though, it feels like... Um, it feels like this is about trusting in the in the universe. So this kind of feels like a pretty positive event here or positive movement that could be coming through with this situation I'm picking up on. It's something about spirit wanting you to know that this is, I'm hearing saving it for a rainy day. So again, this is somebody I'm picking up on who maybe has been thinking about this for a while. Somebody who I don't know if this is like a brand new person. I'm not sure if this is somebody you know or not. Um, we'll kind of see what else comes up here, but I'm definitely getting somebody who, you know, maybe it's like a feeling of, um, 
it's like this person could also be somebody who has a lot of obligation. They could work a lot. I'm seeing somebody look at their watch or kind of like something like this, tapping their wrist. So maybe they're, they, they're short on time, two of pentacles, or there's something about time. Either it's been a little bit of time or they're just kind of thinking that maybe time would run out. With the two of pentacles, though, this person could have a lot of obligation. So they could work a lot. Um, I'm seeing something about NASCAR. So that could be something specific for somebody as well. Somebody watching this, you could be uh, a hairdresser or you're doing something with hair, I'm seeing. That could also just be something specific. But um, yeah, for some of you, I am getting this could have even been somebody who kind of put on the brakes. I'm getting for this reading, there may be various different scenarios here, but some of you, this is someone that you were getting to know or you already kind of opened your heart to a little bit and they may have put the brakes on, they may have kind of taken a few steps back um, when it comes to this connection, even though you have the Ace of Cups between you both, which is again, representing that there's a strong potential here. I'm seeing somebody could live in the South, um, somewhere in the, in the um, tropical location. But yeah, this person could have put the brakes on in this connection with the Four of Pentacles, um, or you did, one of you did, it feels like. And again, this person is, you know, maybe trying to it's like they're really trying to figure out kind of which direction to go with the Two of Pentacles. But for this, it could be that they are just more like kind of busy or they just have a lot on their plate um, as opposed to maybe like, you know, third parties or things like that. Um, yeah, it seems like somebody's on the go is kind of what I'm picking up on. Somebody's on the go or they're, they're going to be on the go maybe. Again, King of Cups here, so water energy as well. Let's see, getting Cancer energy. But this is somebody who I feel for some of you could be really thinking about like the memories between you both. If it is somebody that you've known for a little bit of time, um, somebody who's very nostalgic right now, Nine of Pentacles, the Hanged Man. Yeah, so definitely a little bit of a limbo state here with this connection, whoever I'm picking up on. And I feel like you or this person or even both of you have gone through like a lot of kind of like I'm seeing a snake shutting the skin. So with the Nine of Pentacles, maybe you both have kind of separately or even together gone through a lot of cleansing recently that really kind of is opening your heart more and more with Ace of Cups. So you could even find that like, you know, you feel more ready maybe for love or you feel more open to love, maybe with this person or maybe just in general. Um, but it feels like with the Hanged Man, I'm hearing nothing is set in stone. I don't know what that means exactly for the situation. It could be that maybe somebody's saying to themselves, nothing is set in stone. So they're trying to remain open. They're trying to remain flexible. Or maybe this connection is kind of with the two of pentacles, not set in stone. Um... This person, one way that you would know who they are, maybe for some of you, is that they could have either held like a long eye contact with you a lot, or they just really, maybe they complimented your eyes, or you complimented their eyes, or something about the stare maybe between you both. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, wow. So there could be, hmm, I'm hearing Saturn return. So somebody here could have a Saturn return that would be, if you um, around like age 29 to 30, I believe, and then also 60, I could be wrong on the second one, but um, for some of you that could be relevant for someone, okay, again, not everybody, but maybe you or uh, this person went through a Saturn return, which does really talk about going through a lot of changes that really, that, that can challenge us quite a bit. So it's about opening up to something new, it kind of feels like to me with the situation. But we do have the King of King of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So there could be other people involved in this. Um, yeah, I do feel like there could be other people. But for this, it kind of feels more like, I mean, take it how it's going to resonate with you. But for some of you, there could even be like, for example, maybe like there's somebody who feels like in order to kind of like explore this with you, they have to 
um, kind of listen more to their own heart or listen more to where they're called to go and not so much the, the opinions of other people around them right now. Um, it could be like a third party romantically, but it feels more like maybe family or opinions, um, something like that. But I feel like if this person or you kind of went through this Saturn return, or even if you didn't age wise, there's still like a feeling of maybe kind of going through some restrictions and feeling like we want to open up now to something new. But there's a feeling like I said in the very beginning of maybe trying to type out a message, trying to think about what to say, how to say it. I am getting somebody could be kind of timid here or shy. Um, for some of you. Yeah, this person here who you're connecting to, they could have a little bit of like attachment to something else, but it's more of like they're trying to maybe get away with it or not get away with it, but get away from it or, or um, kind of clean up their environment around them when it comes to maybe opinions or people or um, something with the Four of Pentacles to where this person and the Two of Pentacles, they do have kind of a juggling going on right now. Um, yeah, they may have... Let's see. now we have the king of wands wow so we have a lot of court cards in this reading um so i mean it really could be any sign but i mean i don't know why there's so many people here so yeah there could be a lot of characters involved i mean maybe like for example with the five of wands on your side this doesn't have to be for everybody but maybe like you have a partner or you have other options and then they also have people around them or they have another option there's just maybe a lot of people around the connection here for some of you so four of swords ace of pentacles two of pentacles so how this person's showing up here in the connection yeah they're really trying to kind of get their courage at the moment this person's working on having the courage having the the yeah the courage to make changes in their life um, I don't know why I'm seeing a vision of Dracula. I have no idea why. That could mean something for somebody specifically. Um, but this person, yeah, they could be trying to have the courage here to make these changes and to kind of, with the Ace of Pentacles, offer something or just have... This person, I'm um, getting so many random messages here. This person could have children. I'm seeing somebody like drop their child off at school, something about that, or maybe you do, or I don't know who has children here, but that's just a side note. Um, or if this is the father or mother of your child, maybe for some of you, again, that won't be for everybody, but, or this person just has a lot of obligation going on. So maybe they have to like, you know, drop the, 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 the child off. They have to do this, they have to do that with the two of pentacles. Um, this person could have a mustache. It's like Spirit just showing me random visions for this reading. So maybe somebody needs confirmations if this is for you or not. So. Again, Chariot, Six of Swords, strong indication of travel for some of you. I feel like this person, they're hoping that they can almost like wrap something up here. Again, it could just be like obligations or a lot going on. They're hoping that they can wrap this up and then kind of move into your direction or travel towards you or make plans. It's like with the Three of Wands, the Six of Swords, this person, I feel they're trying to make plans for something with this Ace of Pentacles too. They're trying to sort of prioritize and get things moving into the right direction, whoever this is that I'm picking up on today. Um, and they feel like they don't want to leave you out in the cold. So either they did this before or they don't want to be somebody who is just kind of giving half of an effort. 
So if this is somebody who has a lot going on, they don't want to just be able to give or to give half an half of an effort here to you. I'm getting Gemini energy. So they're right now when it comes to their feelings towards you, they're trying to open up also communication again, I'm picking up on. They may be trying to find ways to communicate with you better if you are in communication with whoever this is. Yeah, so they're or they're trying to find a way to kind of again move into your direction to have stronger communication or to, to voice how they feel. Seven of Pentacles, judgment, the four of wands. This person definitely does have some struggle, some fear. They could have a bit of like a scarcity mindset to where they fear either financially. We do have a lot of pentacles here. This could be somebody who has either trouble financially or they just have a bit of fear of like kind of letting go of what they've known or letting go of a certain job or an environment or location or they have fear of what would happen if I were to do this or, or move forward or even I mean depending on your situation if you are talking to this person and maybe like you're long distance maybe it's a situation where they want to move towards where you are or you want to make things work on a serious level to move in together or something like that um, and so they're, they feel like they're kind of latching on or, or holding on to where they've known or what they've known. Um, but again, spirits bring me back to the message that you both have like really good karma is what I'm hearing. Or you have really good like um, something is opening. Some type of pathway is opening with this Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles to where it's like solid security within each other. You know, you feel solid, they feel solid. Um, or you're leading to that point eventually to be able to make... Um, action and movement in the right direction. But I'm hearing spirits say this is a very patient process with the Three of Wands. So this could be somebody who's taking their time. You could be taking your time. Again, with the Nine of Pentacles, it could be somebody becoming single, but it can also be just wanting to be um, feeling good within where we are in our life. You know, like settling the obligations we have or, or making sure that the priorities are set and that we feel like we have enough time to give to a re relationship. So um, there is a feeling here of patient progress, slow progress maybe being made, um, but, but progress nonetheless. Again, I'm, I'm getting though somebody looking at your photos. So this person, if it is somebody who you had a connection with before, they could be kind of looking at your photos, reflecting on your connection, missing you. I'm hearing the name Jordan for somebody. Yeah, this person really has closed their heart at some point, though. Again, now we have the King of Wands coming up. So it could be fire energy. But again, there's so many court cards in the reading. But this person could have, I'm seeing somebody almost like zip up their heart, like wearing a vest. So they could have sort of zipped up their heart at some point. They may have blocked their heart space a bit. Um, and I feel like, again, for those of you who this could be like a newer person, once again, they're trying to sort of open their heart with Ace of Cups here. They're trying to have the courage to let their heart open after a time where they may have gotten damaged and hurt and afraid. Um, and so they feel pulled. Some of you could actually work with this person or you could have ideas together that could really go far in the future somehow. I don't know what, what way that is, but for some of you, you either work with them or you have similar kind of jobs or similar interests, or maybe you just have like a power couple dynamic. Um, this person, they're trying to simplify their life. So again, Two of Pentacles, this seems to be somebody who, again, they have a lot going on. They could be really trying to simplify, like, what do I need? What do I don't need? Even quite literally, like maybe they're renovating their home or their space. And like, what do I need to get rid of here if I want to move maybe, or if I want to, um, especially if they're kind of getting out of maybe a rut of some kind, they, they could be trying to decide how they want to make changes that would, would open not only their heart, but open their life circumstances a little bit more as well. So let me grab a few Oracle cards here. Um, what is the connection here between you and this person that I'm picking up on today? Anything else there to confirm? Also getting Leo energy here. We have trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about the situation or this person. Your feelings are real. Tune into your inner guidance and follow it. You already know the answer. 
So again, with this Ace of Cups here, it feels like a positive, intuitive answer. So you would know if this is for you by this point. But I mean, if you feel like your intuition is telling you something um, is happening or something is moving or something is calling you, I do feel like your intuition is very strong right now. And some of you even could be this person too, having to trust what they're feeling intuitively right now with Ace of Cups and the Hanged Man. There's a feeling of like shifting the perspective and seeing things from a different angle. Um, it's like I'm hearing spirits say there's no shortcuts. You can't run from this anymore or you can't run from it. So somebody can't run from their intuition um, is what it seems like here. It says you already know the answer. So... I'm hearing the name Shelly or Shelby or she Sheila or something with an S-H. This person could be really athletic for some of you. Maybe they um, seeing somebody run on like a track, so maybe they're very athletic. Let's see, what is the connection between you and this person? Somebody, again, they're trying to change their lifestyle or change their habits, including you, though, I feel, too. I mean, some of you, this is also you. You have been trying to change your lifestyle, change your habits, trying to better yourself as well. Yeah, so we have different paths here. I'm noticing at the bottom, we have divine intervention, take it slow, and reconciliation. And that's kind of what I was feeling here. But since we have so many court cards, there could even be different paths that you are heading with something else. Or maybe they are heading down a different path with something else. Since we have so much kind of going on around here with the Five of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, all the court cards. So there could even be this feeling of... Um, yeah, I feel like somebody is either recently kind of verging onto a new branch, a new path, or this could even be a brand new love for some of you. It feels kind of interesting because it seems like with this Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, this gives me like new energy. It gives me like fresh new energy or restarting something after a time where maybe it was not active or restarting something after one situation kind of sort of ended or um, veered into a different direction. So it's like the divine intervention is leading you towards where you need to be. Um, Because this person, I'm hearing they're hot and cold. So they're still seeming to be hot and cold here. Let me grab, I'm going to go ahead and get these oracle cards. Um, for some of you, I'm also getting to this could have been somebody who you did go down different paths with before. Um, and again, with the hanged man, the ace of cups, nine of pentacles, it could even be a situation where maybe, for example, you decided to just work on yourselves independently, or maybe you've just done that recently. Um, and so during this time of kind of going on different paths, there's a feeling of growth that's happening independently. I think that's really what this actually this reading could be about with this three of wands coming up as the outcome. There's a feeling of like wanting to grow and expand, but it could be that there's components that uh, kind of hold you back, both back here from being together or you're, you're just having to grow together separately. Let's see. What else, Spirit, about the situation? Somebody could live in a, like maybe you live in a different country than them. Somebody could be in a, live in a foreign country. We have despair. Yeah, see at the bottom we have second chance, one day, and longing. So yeah, I feel like this is somebody who feels that they are kind of, I wouldn't say maybe falling apart completely. But they do feel like with the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, they're trying to make headway into the right direction right now. 
which like I said, this could be like obligations they have, they feel like they need to get themselves together. Um, but I feel like this is probably somebody who feels nostalgic though about you. But I wonder if there's more than one person involved for you maybe. Because it seems kind of like I'm picking up on different possibilities or different pathways. Let's see. Yeah, this person, I, I, I feel, I was going to say I'm hearing and then I feel, I'm hearing that they, what was I going to say now? I just lost what I was going to say. Let's see, what else? Yeah, they have a lot of fear, this person. This person is in a lot of fear, okay? Um, they may be fe fearing with the upheaval, what's going to happen if I do this or that, like I said before too. So this is somebody who I feel is either they've like stayed in the same place for a long time or they've been just very resting with the Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, very still maybe, or just, um, I don't even know what the word, kind of just like um, afraid to do anything or afraid to take action or maybe kind of living in a bit of what ifs or what if I did this or what if I did that without really doing much. Um, how are they feeling about you? Roger, I'm hearing. Yeah, see, they're very much secretly admiring you. Yeah, I feel like memories. This is somebody who's been secretly admiring you. So I, I kind of feel, since I was picking up on also like a new energy, I'm getting two things. I'm going to confirm the outcome here, but two different things that could happen here, I feel. Yes, this is somebody who I feel has been still. They've been concealing how they feel. They've been secretly admiring you from afar. They've been very suppressed, this person. Like we had mentioned before, too, they've been kind of in a state of um, fear about talking to you or fear about writing you a message or fear about approaching you or fear about losing things that they've established. It's like somebody who does have a bit of the scarcity mindset um, and they've been concealing this. And so I feel like they could be, this person and you are both growing independently so either it's been a little bit of time or it's two people who are shedding this old skin even though i think you are the, the main one who could be doing this more so you know like you're kind of growing more so you are evolving to a higher level and that's why what i was getting since we have the reconciliation and we have different paths you and this person could have gone down different paths before and now it's like they kind of want to reconcile with you and there could be a new beginning because it does say here this person's praying for a new beginning ace of cups they could be doing so um, but i'm also kind of getting as well that you could find that maybe you will be on different paths because of the circumstances maybe you have another option coming in as well so there's multiple different kind of pathways here to choose from i feel but i'm picking up on both so but yeah this is definitely somebody from your past though coming up here could be mainly fire energy since we have so many other kind of people involved but it could be this person's a fire sign um they could be they don't have to be though but yeah i feel like you and this person have different lifestyles though it's like i'm getting that it's almost like there's this feeling of don't come into my lane but not in a way of them being um like not wanting to be around you it's more so like this person could be feeling that they have just have tension around them they have tension in their environment right now they could be feeling exhausted they could feel like they need to just juggle all these responsibilities and everything so they're almost a little bit avoidant they're almost a little bit blocked to their heart even though they're coming up here in your reading they could be just secretly admiring you right now they could be just even fantasizing about what would happen if i were to offer this or what would happen if i were to travel maybe towards you or something of the sort so um it feels like you definitely probably have different lifestyles or you definitely have differences in your life at some level so
Yeah, because you both have been feeling confused about this, either in the past or um, right now. Okay, because see this second chance is kind of like it popped out at the top because I feel like there's confusion. Most likely this is somebody who you've been off and on with before or they've just been sending you a lot of mixed signals. You just haven't known really what do you really want? Is it this connection? Is it just that you're, is it truly that you're too busy or do you really want something with me? There's really some, there's confusion and that could be why you already went down different paths or you're wondering if maybe we're on different paths anyway. Maybe it's not going to work out. Um, let's see what the outcome is here between you both. Three of Wands. Yeah, so Four of Cups. This person is just somebody who is going to choose to stay stuck because they're so afraid of making a fool of themselves or they're so afraid of doing something. So it really comes down to that, I feel, right now, at least in the next you know couple weeks or next month or so. It's like this person is somebody who is mainly on them, um, I feel. This person is just... They're, just, they're like, they're not doing anything to change the situation. This person could even have a lot of childhood wounds, I'm hearing, um, or they do with the Four of Pentacles. It's like, if you don't change or if you're not open to change, then nothing will change. So I feel like there's this resistance. We do have the Page of Cups, Page of Swords. The outcome here between you both. I'm hearing 20, so I don't know, maybe the 20th of a certain month or 20 days or something. Six of Wands coming up at the bottom. What's the outcome here between you and this person? Yeah, it's just a feeling of bottling up emotions. It's like this person here is going to bottle up emotions. Um, I mean, with the two pages, they could... It's like... I'm getting somebody who could reach out to you or message you or try to say something through like a small means. But it's almost like they're going to mask how they really feel. Like, like for example, they could have these these strong kind of feelings... Or at least they have this this memory about you right now. They, they miss you. They're, they feel like maybe they have a bit of like fantasy. But I feel like this person is going to play it down several notches. Like it's not really that big of a deal. Or like they're hiding the fact that they're afraid of rejection. So they're going to try to pretend like everything is okay or like they're going to try to boost their confidence, boost their ego to make this move, to make this change for some. This person just feels, to be honest with you, I kind of feel for this reading, just take it if it's going to resonate with you, but I kind of feel like you're, you're I don't want to say you're better than them, but you're heading somewhere new you're, or you're heading somewhere bigger and better than this connection it won't be for everybody but for some of you that is the case to where it's almost like somebody who is just going to show you that maybe all along you were right that you deserve something better something different something um yeah something better and with the five of wands maybe you already have people new people wanting your attention maybe you already have new suitors but I'm getting that you're so immersed into confusion. I'm seeing the moon here. So maybe some of you are somehow wrapped up maybe in the situation or you're just not seeing things clearly, even though we have the trust your intuition. You do have to, or maybe you like with the moon here too, maybe you have to trust what you're feeling right now. But let me continue here. What is the outcome? Okay, so yeah, one day flew out. So maybe you have to trust that, maybe not right now, but maybe one day. outcome between you and this person. Yeah, I just keep seeing, I'm seeing a vision of somebody jump in the pool, like on their belly, you know, what is it called when you don't land right in the water. We have clinging and we have longing. See, pretend exactly. So mask. I don't know, this person, they feel a little bit immature. They feel like there's somebody who 
they're just holding on to like their old self. They're holding on to fear of rejection. They could be a little bit awkward too. They could be somebody who comes across kind of awkward or shy or something like that, or they, they just feel that way within themselves. But they definitely miss you a lot, whoever this is. And I'm hearing something like the longer you wait, the long or the harder it gets or something like that, or the longer I wait. So maybe they kind of feel like it's building up within them. They feel like I have to do something. But let me look at you here. What does the viewer need to know? Because I kind of feel for this reading, like I said a few times, it sort of feels like you have maybe something new coming in. What about the viewer? I'm seeing the Milky Way or something with the stars here. So some of you could connect with being a star seed, maybe. Um, what does the viewer need to know? Yeah, so that's kind of what I said here. Yeah, so one-sided love and intimacy. Again, just take this if this will resonate with you, this reading. You would kind of know if this is for you, but I do feel, and of course things can change later down the road. It's not permanent. But right now, Spirit's asking if you really feel like this connection is enough for you, if you're already with this person, or if they do kind of like want to return into your life. Is it really, is it really enough for you? Is it going to be enough for you? Is it serving you right now? Because it does say here, ask yourself if it's possible to build more depth into this relationship. And that's sort of what I'm seeing with this page of swords, page of cups. So it could be like, again, I don't know, there's many scenarios. It could be, a, even though they're missing you, maybe it's somebody you just met like a month ago or something. And maybe you're wondering like, is this person really the, the person for me? Maybe they're acting a little bit immature. And I think the answer is that you have to ask yourself what your intuition tells you. Maybe you deserve something better, something more. And I don't know, with all these court cards, maybe you already have another option or this person could even be entertaining something else casually. Again, I'm kind of getting a bit of an imm immaturity here. What does the viewer need to know? Ten of Cups, Three of Swords, Six of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I'm hearing spirits say you can't have this if you're holding on to this, or you can't have this and this. And that's just a choice that you have to make, completely up to you. If you want, with the Ten of Cups here, I mean, this is like your ideal happiness. This is this is your, what if you had to write down what your perfect kind of partner would be? What would it look like? Or what would they be like? And I think that's what Spirit wants you to ask yourself. Like, what is that to me? Because this Queen of Swords, especially if it's somebody from the past, that's still lingering around you or somebody who's wanting to enter back into your life. They want you to ask yourself to be clear about your intuition. If you want, especially for those of you who got, who could already have a new person, maybe it's like the ex person comes back as you start to date a new person, or this could even be predicting what will happen in the future. There's a feeling of like, you know, you can't have both sort of you can't have your cake and eat it too if there's certain things that you are also holding on about this person but you also want someone different in, in different areas you can't have both at least not if you're holding on to this and that so they really want you to clear any fog or confusion right now about your love life in general and especially if it's having to do with is it possible to have more depth into this connection or is it just going to be like this or will it just repeat itself in the future type of thing okay so let me close this off with some messages from this person for any final con uh, confirmation and i think i'll pull a few charms i'm hearing this song uh, something I gave it all but you never let me in or I gave it all so maybe some of you felt like you did give it all to this person at some point maybe in the past or you have it all to give and so with the Queen of Swords maybe you've been hurt you've been burned because um, again I can't help but notice the King of Swords the Queen of Swords counterpart the King of Cups Queen of Cups counterpart and then we have the Queen of Pentacles over here and the King of Wands so I don't know what Hmm. So what is this person, the person we picked up on mainly, what do they want to say to you? 
the gap between us keeps growing further apart and I don't know how to close it. Yeah. We also have spy. I'm finding ways to look at what you're up to. Again, page of swords here. This person is very concealing. You probably don't even, I mean, maybe you do, but the, you may not even know this person is watching you or spying on you or hoping to get in contact with you. Maybe you don't even know it. I'm afraid that I will let you down if I make a promise to you too soon. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. So yeah, that's why probably this person will come forward in this page of swords, page of one, like really trying to boost themselves up before they do it. And maybe it's true that they can't meet your expectations, or maybe you can build into that later on in the future. But right now, it could be that that's actually true. I need to find a way out because I can't be here anymore. So it could be something that they're dealing with right now, something that they feel, again, it could be like a like a city I'm getting maybe, or a location, not for everyone, but for some it could be, or a certain, like, a certain environment that kind of is beginning to feel very stifling to this person. I love our conversations and banter. And that's what I'm saying. So maybe this could be a new person. I don't know. Or maybe it's somebody who just kind of is surface level with you. Or they're going to keep it very surface level with you if they do reach out. It feels very young. If it's meant to be, our paths will cross again. Let's leave it up to the universe. So that's kind of where I feel like with the Four of Cups, especially for those of you who maybe this is a past person and you never really got things off the ground, they could kind of like almost, uh, to be honest, it's sort of a feeling of like they don't have the courage to do it themselves. So they just want to say, okay, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. They're very like, s like um, stiff sort of, you know, stuck with the Four of Pentacles. At the bottom, we do have, you've changed and I have definitely noticed um, you radiate light and beauty. I love being around you, but it triggers my shadow at times. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, that's where I mentioned a lot of you, the viewer, you've changed a lot and you're glowing and you are about to, if you haven't already, maybe kind of level up in a very profound way to where you're going to have many options. So that's just something that's coming up in the reading. So any potential timing here for this possible communication? I just remembered I saw Dracula before, um, and if that's not something specific, it could even be a little bit of an energy vampire type of feeling with this person, just a little bit. may not be like they're doing it intentionally, but they could be, uh, again, maybe a bit immature. So it could be about two months from now. It could be contact from this person. And I'm getting like, you're going to be either very shocked if you hear from this person or you're just going to like it's going to give you some type of like chills down your spine. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's more of like it's going to intuitively tell you something when you hear from them. I don't know. Something about it's going to be shocking or it's just going to feel like it kind of gives you or maybe you've been knowing it's coming or something is going to feel like a confirmation before the end of the summer months. So so two months up to the end of maybe like till August or something. So I hope that this could resonate with somebody. It could be quite specific maybe for someone, but I hope it could um, resonate with you. Let me know if you like, and thanks so much for tuning in. Lots of love, and take care.